Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, joined today by Jen. Hello! And uh, more specifically, we are in Cleveland, Georgia, and even more specifically than that, we are at... Babyland! Babyland! Now, Jen, you've never been to Babyland before, have you? No. Do you know what it is? It's... Babyland General, the hospital where the Cabbage Patch Dolls are born. That is true. This is where Cabbage Patch Dolls come from. This is kind of the epicenter of the Cabbage Patch universe. They actually you can go in there and actually see Cabbage Patch Dolls be born. And these are not, the, the ones you see born are not the traditional plastic headed ones. These are, uh, these are the, the, the high ticket Artisanal, the cloth. Cab they're, they're the cloth faces. They're they're the, the highest of the Cabbage Patch dolls. The, the the most exclusive and elite Cabbage Patch dolls. I feel like are you're born here. Smack about my flower Anne. Your flower Anne. Flower Anne is my little plastic-headed baby. When did you get flower Anne? I got flower Anne when I was like two or three. My grandpa Tom brought him up for me from Florida, and I named her Flower Anne, which is not a great name. Flower Anne. That's record. a good name. Now that would have been like during the whole like cabbage patch like absolute craze. Yeah, my parents didn't know how he got it from me. And <laughs> yeah, back in the day, you just like you could not find cabbage patch dolls. They were they were they're so in demand that stores could not stock them. People would fight and stab each other just trying to <laughs> just trying to get a cabbage patch doll. And things aren't quite that level nowadays, but people still love cabbage patch dolls. People still make pilgrimages here to. Babyland, you can see, can you see the uh, up there? Oh, that's the parking lot. Up there somewhere, there, right there. That is the uh, <laughs> that is Babyland itself looming on the horizon. So hopefully we will be able to see a Cabbage Patch doll be born today. That's one of the things you can experience here at Babyland. Now you've been wanting to come here for a while, right? Yeah, I told you when we first started uh, talking that this was my favorite video of yours. That All right. I thought it was like the strangest place and it is, the it is. best place. I, and I, I really wanted to come. Like as soon as we moved down here, I'm like Babyland. <laughs> He's like, okay. So yeah, people uh, people comment that this may be this, my video, my original video from Babyland may been the strangest location I've ever been I to. Think so. so. But You'll, very good strange. If you if you have not if you've not experienced this before, let me know in the comment section how strange you feel this is. Very so please follow us. Yay! Babyland General Hospital. Now the original location was actually in an old hospital. It was really cool. They actually like used the old hospital equipment in the theming. But apparently they outgrew that location because uh, years back they rebuilt this as almost like a plantation style house and uh, moved the uh, magic tree over to this uh, new location. See the uh, statue there of a baby being born out of a cabbage. This is uh, one of the ways the Cabbage Patch children are born, and one of the reasons they're called Cabbage Patch children because they actually bloom out of cabbages. Because he's already got a uh, pacifier there. This one here born with some uh, fuzzy hair on top of its head. All right, let's head inside. Oh, and here we are in the lobby. Hello, how are you? It's been a while. You can see the baby carrots there made out of a cabbage. This guy right here. Kind of a museum in here of old Cabbage Patch dolls. Here's, uh, I think this is one of, I think this may be the oldest here. It's uh, Dexter. See, these are in the uh, Mickey Mouse clubhouse hat there. 
says that the uh, Little People Soft Sculptures were the first kids and babies delivered by Xavier Roberts, who is the, uh, the creator of Cabbage Patch Kids. So they all have different names. Laura there. There's Matthew. This is Keith Wayne there with his truck. Look at like Larry here. He's not only a baby, but he's also a doctor as well, like Dr. Baby. This is Webster George. Here's Wade. He has a little sticker on him saying, hello, my name is Wade. What do you like? Toby. Oh, there's a little, little Toby there. It's from, uh, it says 1977. And here's some of the larger Cabbage Patch children. These ones aren't babies, they're like... Uh, these ones are actually dressed up kind of like adults. He's wearing the tuxedo there. And look at this, we got a giant cabbage chair there. What do you call, Jen, what do you call a chair made of cabbage? Oh no. We're trying to come up with creative names for <laughs> all the different chairs and couches. We had the... the... Uh, the Cow, the the cow that has a couch in it. That's called the couch. Cabbage. And the the we determined here on the channel that the snowman couch was called the snowfa. We had the gingerbread couch at Silver Dollar City, which I have since decided should be called gin chair bread. <laughs> but what do you call chairbage? A chairbage? Is a cabbage here a chairbage? Let's see. Is it cozy? It's a little hard. It's a little hard. I throw, I'm sitting on our throne cabbage of cabbage. Can you think of a different name other than Cherbage? Cherbage? Uh, that's the best I've got right now. Leave a comment in the comment section if you can think of a better name for a chair I think made of cabbage. The of the channel now. We're just naming different chairs and couches. Yes. <laughs> So here's some history on the Cabbage Patch dolls. It says Xavier Robert took Dexter, who we saw over there with the uh, Mickey Mouse ears, to an art show in uh, Florida where he won first prize and uh, shows how the, the company grew. And I know, I acknowledge there is controversy involving Xavier and uh, where he may, who, who he may have collaborated with to come up with the uh, with the idea, but you know, we're, we're, we won't dwell too far into that uh, today. Let's go see Dexter. So Dexter was kind of the doll that started it all here. See, so he's got his diploma. Maybe that's the award right there that Xavier won with uh, with little Dexter. Yeah, as we're looking at the different dolls here in the case, it says a lot of them say Helen Blue. So I think Helen Blue must have been um, one of the artists that designed these uh, these uh, Cabbage Patch dolls. This is Mary, 1978, Helen. So I guess Helen, one of the artists. You see all the different sizes, shapes of Cabbage Patch dolls. There is uh, Montgomery there with a super cool hat. Here's Bebo. He's got a, uh, a uh, sweatshirt from San Francisco there. Here's Fisherman's Wharf. That's where the, my <laughs> window of my car got smashed out. There's the, the man himself, Xavier Roberts, posing with some of his uh, creations there. Oh, look at the eyes there on Mildred. It's like kind of unique looking eyes there. Oh, this one's a cowboy. He's even uh, he's even packing a little heat there. And then this is J.J. Allen Newton, who is a sailor of some sort. Yeah, the Cabbage Patch dolls have a definite, very distinct look. Nothing really looks like a Cabbage Patch doll. You can pretty much identify them uh, on site. like this one here Thomas he looks like he is a uh, he works on an airline he's got the little uh, suit there he's either a pilot or a uh, flight attendant Let's see in this window right here we have uh, some cabbage patch dolls are actually for 
adoption. It's either in these, uh, in these, like, these are kind of like baby beds that you would see, like, in a hospital where babies are born. I remember when Annabelle was in one of those. And then you have the incubators here, I guess, for the, uh, the premature babies. You can see, uh, see them there. Normally in the hospital, they don't put that many babies in, uh, in one incubator. I think usually they just leave like maybe one baby at a time in there. And then over here we have this, uh, this lady here. She is an adult Cabbage Patch person. Normally you don't see them grow up. I don't know why, but usually don't see Cabbage Patch dolls in adult form. I think she used to be the teacher here. There used to be like a schoolhouse room at the old uh, location where she was in there as the teacher, but now she is, now she apparently has become a nurse helping uh, take care of all this endless stream of babies born from a magic, uh, magic tree. What's that? It's a Yeti. It's a baby Yeti and he's got horns. Yeah, I know, that's why I was like, He's got look. four horns. I know, look how cute he is. is he a, I've never seen a little Is Yeti. he a Cabbage Patch Yeti? I think so, yeah. It's very cute. But was he born in a magic tree? Yeah, he was born in a, um, <laughs> Brussels sprout. He's born in a Brussels sprout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See the nursery in here. Is this where uh, it's where you found the Yeti and yes. these babies here? These are bunny bees. What are bunny bees? These are the um Yeah. They, these are like flying above the magic tree. I guess this was like like another like Xavier Roberts creation. Like this was something that he was trying to sell. Well, they never caught on as much as the um, as the Cabbage Patch dolls, but they they fly around the magic tree where the babies the babies are born. Bunny bees, I guess. Half bunny, half bee. I don't think they have stingers, but I guess they they hop and they buzz. Okay, so I was reading some of the bunny bee lore, and the bunny bees actually play an important role in the Cabbage Patch being born, because apparently the bunny bees fly around the magic tree sprinkling crystals, and these crystals pollinate the, the, the trees and the, ca the, the cabbages. I, I think I'm getting this straight. They pollinate the, the cabbages, which leads to the Cabbage Patch kids being born. So this is the uh, part of the life cycle of a Cabbage Patch doll, is the bunny bees that sprinkle magic crystals. You got that, Jen? Yes. Bunny bees, magic crystals, insemination, cabbage. Yes. Yeah. You're taking care of the baby. You're taking care of the baby. Be careful, the hedgehog might poke the baby oh, with its yeah. spiny poker. A dinosaur. A dinosaur? Okay, how about a yeti? Alligator? I don't, all very bad. I don't know if you know how to take care of a baby, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> are you? Oh my gosh. Okay, it looks like people are starting to gather around. Oh, they just... Labor, all staff, code green. Code green. All staff, code green. labor. <clears throat> all right, you see the bunny bees up there sprinkling the magic crystals? Baby land. Is this anybody's first time viewing a delivery? All right, well, I have several. Well, don't be nervous or afraid. I'm Nurse Tina, and I'm an LPN. That means I am a licensed patch nurse, and I'm certified to take care of Mother Cabbage through this delivery this afternoon. Now, the way we know Mother Cabbage yeah, is going into the labor is the crystals at the bottom of the patch begin to glow brighter, and the bunny bees above my head, they sprinkle down a magical pollen okay, dust. Sprinkling down the magical and that pollen, pollen dust is very important because it determines whether we're going to have a boy or a girl. So, of course, I'm going to ask y'all a question. Who wants to have a girl this afternoon? Put your hands high in the air and think pee, pee, pee. You want a girl? Yes. All right, if you want a boy, I want you to put your hands high in the air and think blue, blue, blue. All right, I'm going to do a quick sonogram. You have to pick one. It does look like y'all are getting a happy, healthy baby. And it does look like with all that pink, it is going to be a girl this afternoon. Girl. So y'all know who me, Boo Mother Cabbage. Like that pink All right, light. let's get ready. I'm going to get a blanket ready. And the first thing I'm going to do is give Mother Cabbage a dose of a Magicillin. A Magicillin. Now, a Magicillin will not hurt Mother Cabbage, but it will help her to relax those leaves before 
during and even after her labor and delivery. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give Mother Cabbage an extra large dose of TLC. Who knows what TLC stands for? Does anybody know? Can anybody tell me? What does it stand for? You got it? Tender, loving, care. And then all of us nurses and doctors here at Bethlehem, we believe in giving massive doses of tender, loving care. Now, Mother Cabbage has been delivering babies all day long. So she's a little nervous, a little bit shy, and frankly, just a whole lot tired. So she wants us just to kind of let her take a nice long nap, but we can't do that. So I need y'all's help. I need y'all to cross your fingers, even cross your toes if you need to, because we really need to make sure Mother Cabbage is definitely a full 10 leaves apart dilated. And let's see, let's check her. Oh, she's close. I do think y'all have looked out. She is. So, great job. All right. Now, the next it's procedure close. I'm going to do is called an easyotomy. An y'all, we're the only hospital in the whole, think about how big the whole wide world is. We're the only hospital in the whole wide world who performs this procedure. And I've had a lot of great luck with it. I'm going to share a secret with y'all. I don't share with many people, but I've never had to do a cabbage section. And yes, that is a C-section. I've never had to do a cabbage section since we started doing this procedure, so it's pretty awesome. Now, like I told y'all, Mother Cabbage has been delivering babies all day long. So she's a little anxious, a little bit nervous, and a whole lot tired. So I'm going to need y'all's help. Can y'all take a really deep breath in? And slowly let it out. Good job. That's working. I can see her leaves getting pommel. Let's do that one more time. A really, really deep breath in. And slowly let it out. Good job. All right. I'm going to give y'all a little bit harder job. Y'all ready? All right. I'm going to count one, two, and when I get the three, that's your cue. I need everybody in the audience to say push as loud as you want to, okay? Because we're going to wake Mother Cabbage up. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh! All right, I did get some movement. I actually saw a head, and that's pretty awesome news. And that doesn't happen all the time. But it's wonderful that it did, because I've seen an arm or leg, we'd be having a branch delivery. And you ought to be seeing a branch instead of a breach. Stuck together, it takes a while to pull them apart. So y'all really locked up. Now one more time on three. One, two, three. Good job. Y'all ready to see a beautiful she got baby? The baby? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, the baby's stuck? <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, oh. oh how sweet. This baby's got Cut beautiful the cord. colored eyes. Look at here. Isn't she gorgeous? Now I do need to turn her on her bottom. Let's get things started. We don't want to give her a cold on her birthday, so I'm going to wrap her up. Now, the first thing I did notice is she was warm ball, but hey, that's all right. That just means the interns didn't get around to fertilizing her part of the patch last night. The next thing I noticed it's those beautiful golden color eyes. Now, we don't have many babies that have this eye color. Y'all see? She has an Audi belly button where she was genuinely clipped from under cabbage. Now, the next part is embarrassing for her, so y'all have to promise you won't laugh too loud. But like all babies born here at Babyland, she does have the Xavier Roberts birthmark on her tiny little bottom. Y'all see that? Now let's cover her up. Now in just a minute, I'm going to take her over to the Babyland Delivery Nursery. Where we'll do her first checkup. Before we go over there, she needs a name. Libby? Libby? Izzy Jean? Libby? What you got? Gracie? Okay, what you got? Flower Ann. Flower Ann. All right, let's see what she likes. You got a lot to choose from. You got Izzy Jean, Flower Ann. Gracie? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, Alright. Oh, okay, I'm going to tell her. She said she loves all those names and someday she's going to be famous. 
She's decided to go with Easy June, and with a name like that, she's bound to be famous. Y'all give this sweet girl a hand, because it is her birthday. <laughs> after uh, after the birth, everyone gathers over here to peer into the nursery at the newborn babe. Are you disappointed they didn't choose your name? A little bit, but I realized Flower Ann is a weird name. It's a weird name. It is a weird name. Why'd you name your cabbage patch doll Flower Ann? I don't know. I was like two, so. You were two. Yeah. Did you like flowers? Maybe. I still like flowers, so yes, we'll say yes. <laughs> oh, there's the nurse. There's the nurse with the baby. Get a closer look there at the baby. Oh, what? Oh, she's weighing the. Weighing the baby there, taking down the fatal baby's Apgar scores. Oh, she's sucking out the, the baby's burgers and mucus. I'm checking the mouth there. Laying off and the uh, the amniotic fluids off the baby. Maybe a shot. Oh, wait, what's this? What's this machine here? Is that like a. Oh, it's like a. Checking the baby's heart with that machine there. The heart looks good. baby up front and it is now uh, for adoption so you can actually watch the baby be born and then uh, adopt adopt that baby all right the crowd has dispersed we can get a closer look at uh, the baby here Izzy June there uh, weight 1.5 pounds oh is that normal I mean that's probably normal for a cabbage patch so it's, you know, a set of bones and organs. There, there's just cotton inside. The nurse said that, um, that it had special eyes. The golden color eyes are rare. So it's the 28th. Okay, these are the other babies that were born today. That's Priscilla Isabella. And Cabbage Grace is this the name of the baby. Flower Hand's a better name than Cabbage Grace. You think Flower Hand's a better yes. name than Cabbage Grace? <laughs> yes. I don't know, if we ever have a kid, I want to name him Cabbage. All right. Whether it's a boy or girl. Cabbage. Just Cabbage. All right, that sounds good. Right. Cabbage Bagger. Cabbage Bagger. Now you can see the different babies back in here. And you see the the uh, stork there. Which I'm confused now. If the babies are born here, what's the stork do? Does the stork take them from here? To Walmart. And delivers them? Oh, so the stork takes them and delivers them to Walmart. So they can be sold. Now these here, these, um, like I said, these are more expensive than the normal one that you get at a, uh, at a Walmart. Um, they said these start at $350 and go uh, up from there. I think it's $350 for the, these type of babies with no hair or nothing extra. It's you know, $350 for the standard model. I like the pink on the, the color on the cheeks. You like the, like the rosy, yeah. the rosy head? Yeah, they got like pink accents. This one's got a lot of pink on its head. Is it June, the one born today? Have some different clothes. Oh, it's like a, a baby land general camouflage jumper there. I wonder if I can find something for Flower Ant so she couldn't come. She's, you I think she'd like this camouflage jumper? I think, well, maybe something a little more pinker. 
flowery. <laughs> um, I feel bad I couldn't find her. She's um, I'm not the greatest of parents because she's in like a packing box, like a moving box. So you still. packed her up for the move and haven't haven't found her yet. I poked some holes. It's okay. Oh, so she can but, breathe. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where she is, so she <laughs> couldn't make the trip. <laughs> you did try to find her this morning. Though. I did. I did. <laughs> now that the delivery's over, we can come get a closer look at the magic tree. You can see there's the bunny bees up in the tree. They drip their magic crystals down here where uh, Mother Cabbage gives birth. So, hey, how's it going? I, I was always been like a little confused because they say that Mother Cabbage gives birth to the babies. So the magic tree, um, is the tree is not, I don't know if the tree, the tree is, I guess the tree's not giving birth. There's this unseen mother cabbage maybe underneath the tree. But you could see that it was a girl. In the oh, the girl was, yeah, the girl was in the tree. So is mother cabbage and the tree um, one in the same? I think so. You think so? So yeah, the, the, the magic tree gives birth, but they refer to it as mother cabbage. So I don't know. Leave a comment in the comment section if it's I'm getting all this, giving this, this wrong. But you can see these ones along the base are just bursting out of the oh, cabbages. The yeah, some of them, some of them are actually moving. You can see that, the hypnotic, uh, hypnotic movements of the baby heads. Yeah, up there you can see some of the equipment, the Imagicillin and the, the different tools used to deliver the baby. It's all a very interesting life cycle. So, the bunny bees drizzle the, uh, the magic crystals onto the ground, the tree, mother cabbage, the babies are in the tree, and then born from the ground, which is mother cabbage. Am I making this more confusing than it needs to be, or no, does that, does that, that make sense? Summary. That's a good summary? Okay, yes. okay. Oh no, looks like a big mean old bear has snuck into, uh, into the cabbage patch. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he doesn't uh, disrupt the babies. It's a nice bear. Yeah. It's gonna be nice to the babies. Yeah. Bears are always friendly to babies. Bears like babies too. Right? Bears like babies too. Okay, we got some more, uh, more uh, grown cabbage patch kids. These aren't the babies here, but they're still just they're still growing in their cabbage. Does that come out of the cabbage? See if you can. Don't force it, but okay. You can lift them out of the cabbage. So they're not still growing. They're just chilling in their cabbage hole there. There you go back in your cabbage hole. Oh, this one's wearing the, the bunny bee shirt there. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see one of the magic crystals there flickering. Got the tree full of bunny bees so what here. What the magic crystals do? I think they come from the bunny, the bunny bees. Oh, with the... They drop the crystals down. I was thinking they were small. And it I pollinates. Realize, like, those are big crystals. What if it hit a baby? I think the, 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 the big crystals, like, grow from the oh. drizzle of the, uh, of the bunny bees. I get it. And here is a cowbage patch kid. <laughs> a cowbage patch kid there. Cows like babies too. Cows like babies too. Cows and bears. And you have the uh what's it say a light bright type uh type design there with all of the all the lights. It's that cabbage patch tree house. And they have some regular bees. So there's right those aren't bunny bees, those are regular bees. I'm, I'm, I think I'm getting too fixated on cabbage patch lore here. Yes. It's I mean it's complicated. It's complicated. The Cabbage Patch Extended Universe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. There's a blasting rifle, a monster truck with a dinosaur head on it. I guess these are, these are for uh, getting the uh, the unfortunate brothers that get dragged here to the... Uh, <laughs> and Groot. Yeah, a little Groot. Yeah. Do you want a cabbage Groot? Sure. The circus room in here. Oh, a little carousel there full of uh, full of plushies oh yeah there's no cabbage patch dolls in this room have this plushies dumbo. you have this dumbo yeah. oh look at this cool carousel I don't know why they, they don't have like the actual kids in there that'd be pretty cool does it turn they got a lockdown so people like you don't come it's true turn it. 
Oh, but look at the logo here. That's interesting. That's cool. The official Cabbage Patch Kids Circus Kids. Wait a minute. What's a circus kid? Did they sell Cabbage Patch dolls with clown makeup on? If so, I think I may have to. I think they may have to hunt, hunt one of those. Hunt one of those down. Look at this throne over here. Do you like Jen? Do you like this Cabbage Patch Kid here with the uh, with the faux hawk? I do like the faux hawk. Right? You want a faux hawk Cabbage Kid? I also kid? like the throne. I want this for the house. The throne. You can sit there and be the the king of cabbage. You're gonna be the queen of cabbage there. You want this? The queen. The queen of cabbage. It looks like you just broke your phone on the. We're good. Is it okay? No, it sounded like okay. it cracked. Okay, good, good, good. Continue my reign with a working phone. <laughs> Oh, we also got it. It's good that they don't put the Cabbage Patch Kids in these cages. I think that would send <laughs> that would send the wrong message. We got a lion here in the cage. Looks like this wheel was meant to be spun. But this is uh, locked in place. It does not does not spin anymore. Maybe these are the uh, circus Cabbage Patch Kids here. We have Rowdy Rainbow there <laughs> with his uh, clown outfit. And uh, bashful bow top. Well, those are very interesting. I, I love the uh, the idea of a circus cabbage patch kid. Oh, look at this! Apparently, we also have the cabbage patch kids beach club. We get some surfer cabbage patch kids as well. Oh, look up here! I didn't even notice this when we came into this room. There is a disco ball shaped like a birthday cake attached to the roof. It says country kids here. But they don't look like kids. They look like uh, look like animals. But technically, technically this is a uh, is a kid because a, a a baby goat is known as a kid. So technically, uh, that is a Cabbage Patch kid right there. <laughs> but look at that. We also have uh, Cabbage Patch jackalopes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I actually like that. Love the jackalopes. Do we have any other cryptids? Here. No, I was hoping for a Cabbage Patch Mothman. This is, um, what is that? Like a rainbow hedgehog? hedgehog? Yeah, that's a cryptid of sorts, man. A hedgehog is not a cryptid. But a rainbow. I mean, I mean, you could make up anything. You could be like an alligator with wings. That's a cryptid. A, uh, you know, a monkey with a pogo stick for a nose. <laughs> Entering this room right here. For some reason we have Saturn dangling from the ceiling. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Next to Saturn, here we have some uh, little Cabbage Patch astronauts. This little Cabbage Patch Kid astronauts. You see him there in the helmet. Got a, uh, another one over here. That's pretty fun. A little space suits for the Cabbage Patch Kids. They even have some uh, Astronaut ice cream here to go with the astronaut Cabbage Patch dolls. You have apple wedges, you've got bananas, and you've got peaches, 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 peaches. Alright, I'll put this back. Also a little race car, Cabbage Patch Boy. This one over here has won some sort of racing trophy. What's that? Well, it could be a dog. Oh, or yeah. Or a nurse Maybe a land general. Now, how big is Flower Ann? Uh, like your standard. Standard baby? Is she a baby? Uh, she's or she a girl. Like she's the one behind you. She almost looks like that. Oh, like this? Yeah. She's like a kid, not yeah. not like a not like a newborn. No, not like a baby baby. Not like a baby baby. Yeah, no, she looks like this. Her hair's kind of like this, but more like yarn. Oh, yeah. This one's more like... Oh, yeah, you could dress her up like a doctor. Yeah. She got her PhD. <laughs> have baby diapers. These are like real diapers. I feel like she's wearing a diaper, so she Wait. must be like a top. You think she's wearing a diaper? Yeah. What? A top diaper under her little. Is she, is she a baby she's or is she? I don't have children, so like preschool, like still like she's wear not diapers. Potty right? train? Yeah. I mean. Normally, she's not like a baby baby, but she's still a baby. She's like one, I think. One, okay. Yeah. So, she can't have like the swaddly thing, but she can still have like, like she has a pacifier. I'm starting to think she's a baby, Jen. I, 
like, I said I she was a baby. You said she wasn't a baby. So, you know, maybe, maybe Jen doesn't know the difference between. Uh, I told you she was a baby. Oh no, they're having another birth. They're having another birth. <laughs> Her baby. It just helps with 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 her baby. Oh. Oh, she is. Oh, Little baby. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get her wrapped up and yeah, tell you cute about her. Baby. <laughs> there she bottled there. All right. So the first thing that I do notice about this baby is that she was born without any hair. Now that does not make her any less beautiful than any of our other babies. It just means that the interns got a little bit lazy last night and they forgot to fertilize her part of the hatch. She also has some beautiful blue eyes. And a cute little Audi belly button where I did with her from another cabbage. A few years ago, we had a group of kids come in and they said we would like to plant some corn with your cabbages. Oh. We were a little bit hesitant at first because we didn't want any cross pollination going on. When we let them plant the corn anyway, lo and behold, a big storm swept through the mountains and the corn got mixed up with the cabbage. So now all of our babies are born with two cute little ears. Oh, that's why they have ears. <laughs> Alright, this next part can be just a little bit embarrassing, so you guys promise not to laugh. I promise. Alright. Just like every baby born here at Babyland, she does have Xavier Roberts birthmark right on her little bottom. Alright, she's blushing a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and get her covered back up. See, it's very busy over there by the checkup window. Everyone wants to see the new baby and make sure it's healthy. Back here, we have the adoption offices where you actually go sign the paperwork and officially adopt the babies. Now, uh, Annabelle, once upon a time, did adopt a baby from here. I'll just sneak into the office here. This is the adoption office. See the little statue there. So yeah, this is where all the magic takes place, where the paperwork is signed, the babies are officially adopted, and get ready to go home with their uh, their new parent. Oh, we actually did find another cryptid. They have a little uh, Cabbage Patch Bigfoot there. Uh, I bet Bigfoot likes eating cabbage. Oh, there's some mermaid, some mermaid babies, and some, uh, oh, these are mermaids too. These ones are fairies, I think. Oh, what's this in here? It says, welcome to Mount Yona Magical Forest. I don't know, oh, this would see their Christmas, their Christmas tree display. Oh, okay, they have this ballroom open and it's full of Christmas trees and Cabbage Patch Kids. Yeah, the Cabbage Patch Kids here in their cribs hanging out with sloths. Oh yeah, you can see the babies at the bottom, the Cabbage Patch Kids dressed up to match, match the trees. Oh yeah, look at all these uh, trees in here. Yeah, it is, we're in the, kind of in between Christmas and New Year's as I film this. So a lot of the Christmas displays are still up. Oh yeah, you can see they're wearing pajamas to match their tree and look at this. So we have another adult in here. The little adults are that, the nurse. And we have uh, Santa Claus as well, hiding behind that tree. I like the little reindeer in front. Off to uh, deliver presents to all the good cabbage children. To deliver presents and babies. And babies. Yes. That's why we forgot to put some some air holes, like said, air holes in the in the boxes. <laughs> Maybe you can make it to Christmas this morning. Well, these bears here say, so please do not feed or sit on the animals. These bears uh, do not uh, want us to sit on them. Oh, there's another. 
another Santa over here. I don't know if we're allowed to sit on that Santa's lap or not. Yeah, and a lot of Christmas trees in here. We got uh, this car carriage here. Oh, there's another Santa. Another Santa. There's absolutely full of Santas in here. Oh, there's one more Santa here, right in the center. His fluffy, uh, his fluffy white robe here, hanging out with some polar bears. Oh, what'd you get there, Jen? I found another, another cryptid. Oh, you got a Yeti? Yeah. And yep, it's got those horns. It's just a whole video discussing the horns <laughs> on the uh, on the Yeti. Oh, what what's want. that? We found what you want? I want a, you want a bunny bee? Yes, I want a bunny bee and then an outfit for a flower and I think this will fit. You think that'll fit? I don't know. You can maybe ask ask one of the nurses if that will fit. <laughs> but what does it say? Okay, it says Babyland General. And I mean it's kinda like like they could either tuck their legs in or they could go out. Like okay, so it's kind of it's got like a lot of elastic yeah, to it, so, so it probably fits different I sizes. Think it'll fit her. It obviously won't fit my little won't fit the bunny bee. That's good. All right, we got a bunny bee that can sprinkle magic crystals at our house. Maybe, maybe we'll hatch our own. Uh, we'll grow our own bootleg Cabbage Patch Kids at home. Yeah. <laughs> they also sell clothes for humans as well. The Cabbage Cabbage Patch Kids Babyland shirt there. A tie dyed shirt. Okay, Jen asked a nurse, and they said that that outfit would probably not fit her doll. So she's gonna show us where uh, where you can find the appropriate sized clothing. All right, do we find right. one that fits now? Yes, this one will fit flower. This jumper, <laughs> it looks a lot bigger. Yes, like a lot bigger. I'm glad we, I'm glad we asked and didn't. And no, didn't I was like, it'll be fine. Yeah, you just try to get home and be like, ah, You just Lord. cram her, cram yeah. her into that. Maybe I could have put cameo in it or something. Oh yeah, you gotta maybe yeah. get some clothes for the cats. <laughs> Cats don't like clothes. The cats no, don't like, they not. don't like to wear clothes. No. Oh, there's like Disney costumes over here. You could dress up your Cabbage Patch doll like Aladdin. <gasps> you could be Dorothy. Oh, that's Dorothy. Do that's they have? Cool. Do they have Dorothy's friends? Uh, no, just Dorothy. Let's see if. Oh, look at that. Do you see this? This is a. Uh, <laughs> she could be the Beast. The Beast. <laughs> well, that's cool. I like these. Oh, look at this too, though. This says doll. Kansas girl. <laughs> like, I don't even know why. Like Dorothy's not even copyrighted. I don't know why they get. No, it says Cinderella. It says Cinderella. But for this, it just says Kansas girl. <laughs> Again, like no one owns the cop the copyright. It's public domain. Dorothy is public domain. So I don't know why they would have to say Kansas girl. We did notice as we were walking around here, they do have like Cabbage Patch dolls with like funky hair colors. I think they're so fun. You think they're fun? Mm -hmm. I just think, I think about it like back when, like back in the day when I was a kid and Cabbage Patch dolls were popular, like I don't think you would ever see this because I think back then people with like fun colored hair were considered to be crazy people. <laughs> but uh, now yeah, it's good to see, you know, how different people, different forms of expression are more accepted. So interesting to see that with, uh, with the Cabbage Patch dolls. What's this? This is what cutie. It's called Cutie Town. Yeah. And all the Cabbage Patches are dressed up like different animals. It's a unicorn. There's the Cabbage Patch Kid. <laughs> Interesting. A town where children are forced to dress like animals. I like the little monkey. Since it's in the little monkey, monkey? suit, does that child only eat bananas? Yeah, he only eats bananas because he's a monkey. <laughs> Well, this one's an animal too. I always found the ones that had like animal. Oh, because he has like an animal nose. Yeah. What is he? Is he? A, oh, he's a really fox. Creepy. Yeah, I can't find any. Chaos. Like, oh. Raids. <laughs> like, see, this one doesn't have the. Little that one's a little pig. It should have a little pig nose. I know, but I thought it was creepy. Like, can I turn into a fox? <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the different celebrities that have been here to Babyland. Everyone from Richard Simmons to Casey Kasem to Betty White. And look at this, Jen. Jeff Goldblum Ooh. has come out here to Babyland. I wonder if he adopted a baby when he was here. Oh, there's Joan Rivers as well. 
a literal who's who. Where's the astronaut John Glenn? Billy Joel? Tom Selleck. Where's Tom Selleck? Right here. Oh yeah, Tom Selleck. Oh, there's uh, the Peter Pan lady. What's her name? Mary Margaret. Mary Margaret. Jared's mom. <laughs> Michael Keaton, Burt Reynolds, Pavarotti. his child, oh, Luciano Pavarotti. They uh, in in Las Vegas they turned they turned his wax figure into a clown. It made me feel bad. Oh, Bill Monroe, the the inventor of uh, bluegrass music. Oh my gosh, Jen. George Lucas was here, and he brought. C-3PO and a couple of Ewoks <laughs> with them. And this is definitely a very impressive uh, celebrity wall here. All right, Jen, so I want to get your reaction to uh, Babyland General. What did you think about the experience here? Still like the weirdest place on earth. You think but, it's pretty weird? Yes, but also lovely and delightful and amazing <laughs> and Adorable. So why do you think it's weird? Just because there's a baby. Why is it weird? <laughs> yes. They give an epidural epidural to a cabbage. <laughs> That's true. I don't know if there is any other attraction in this great country of ours where they give an epidural to a cabbage. <laughs> you can't think of any? I can't no, think of Like do they do that at South of the Border? No. Mm -hmm. They don't do that at House of the Rock. <laughs> no. Meow Wolf eating even Meow Wolf doesn't no, do that, I don't no. think. Maybe we'll see what the new Meow Wolf is like. <laughs> That's true. But uh, yeah, so, you, so pretty you live up to expectations. Yes, it was very good, and I really like the bunny bees. Got the bunny bee. I got a bunny bee. You got the bunny bee, and you got uh, an outfit for Flower Ann. Yeah, the inseminating bunny bee. <laughs> you'll have to give um, you'll have to give everyone an update on Flower on Flower Ann. Here's a, after after you dig her out of her box. Here's Flower Ann's little. There's her dress. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, thank you for coming along with us today. Maybe oh. I can come back sometime with Flower Ann. You gonna bring her back here? Yeah. To to her to her homeland. Yeah, I feel kind of bad. I feel like I. You should have dug her out. Yeah, I feel like I disappointed her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you folks for joining us today. If you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. If you subscribe, it does help. You know, from my statistics say that most people that watch these videos are not subscribed. So if you are watching the videos and you, you click subscribe, it'll help YouTube know to suggest the videos to you. And, uh, and it'll help me out as well. So uh, if you're interested in supporting the channel other ways, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop and doing personalized messages on Cameo. If you're interested in any of those things, check the description of this video. And of course, all those things help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this bunny bee high in the air. Bye. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.